Huawei has just unveiled its new foldable and it is the best in its history. We are talking about the Huawei Mate X6, a folding type fold that is going to offer us very good features especially at the photographic level. But let me go little by little. We will find 5 color options available, black, red, blue, white and finally gray. Its thickness is only 9.85 millimeters. Although it is remarkably thin, it has not managed to break the record of the Honor Magic 53, which is currently the world's thinnest foldable. The weight is 239 grams. So overall I think they achieve a comfortable enough grip compared to the vast majority of foldables. However, the curious thing here is that the screen has increased in size compared to the last generation, as we find an internal screen of 7.93 inches, while the last generation was 7.85, and the external screen now measures 6.45 inches in its diagonal, while the last generation was 6.4 inches. Clearly, these are very high quality displays. The internal display has a peak brightness of 1800 nits, while the external display has a peak brightness of 2500 nits. In both cases we are talking about AMOLED screens with 2K resolution and a variable refresh rate from 1 to 120 Hz. This device has a new construction to make it more resistant, so possibly that has been the reason why Huawei has not managed to break the record of being the thinnest foldable. It debuts basalt distributed as one of its main materials to protect this device against any kind of fall. It also uses a screen with carbon fiber which according to Huawei figures increases its rigidity by 65%. The body of the device also incorporates a new level of much harder and more resistant aluminum so there is no doubt that it is a device that even though it is foldable and can be considered fragile, it is going to have a very good level of resistance, possibly more resistant than other traditional format devices. Although this new material for the screen is only used for the collector's edition, then possibly in future generations we will see this innovation reach more variants of the device. On the operating system we find Harmony OS 4.3 with the promise of upgrading to version 5 with all the artificial intelligence features I mentioned to you also on the Mate 70. It comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 or 512 gigabyte versions of storage, while the collector's edition has 16 gigabytes of RAM and options of 512 gigabytes of storage or up to a terabyte. In the photographic section, we are going to find attractive things. The main camera is 50 megapixels. In this case, we are talking about a RYYB sensor with variable aperture from f1.4 to f4.0 and optical stabilization. Then ultra wide angle camera of 40 megapixels with aperture f2.2 and also a sensor RYYYB and finally a telephoto camera that is also telemacro with 48 megapixels, aperture f3.0 and another sensor RYYYB. YB with optical stabilization. In this case, we are talking about a 4x optical zoom approximately, since it is a 90mm lens. The maximum digital zoom reached is 100x. It integrates two front cameras, one external and one internal, in both cases of 8 megapixels. The only difference is that the aperture is f2.2 for the internal front camera and f2.4 for the external front camera. The battery has a capacity of 5110mAh, which is pretty good to talk about a foldable of this style, and even the collector's edition has a battery of 5200mAh. It supports 66W wired charging, 50W wireless, and 7.5W reverse reverse wireless charging. It also integrates IPX level 8 against water, so even if it falls into the water, it will have a high chance of surviving. In this case, it was tested at a depth of 2 meters for 30 minutes. It also integrates Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2. In China, it has satellite connectivity and it has USB-C 3.1 Gen 1. It also integrates NFC, infrared for universal remote control and fingerprint reader. The processor is a mystery, we still do not know if it is the same Kirin 9020 that is used in Huawei Mate 70, but we will be able to confirm it in the future. The announced price for China of the simplest configuration is 12,999 yuan. That's about $1,790. To give you more or less an idea of the price of this foldable from Huawei, which is very advanced, although it is not yet confirmed that it will have a global distribution, but we would love it if it did.